Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now, over the past few weeks, I've been monitoring the comments and emails that I've been receiving regarding to what people are interested in, given this new state of mining where profitability is up for nearly anybody that can plug in a GPU to one of the crypto networks. Most of these questions have been around, hey, I've been out for a few minutes. I sold my rigs. I'm looking to buy a small rig, maybe two to five cards, six cards. What, given the history of where Ethereum's going, where they're going to be going to proof of stake, Ethereum Classic having its 51% attack, and how are they going to react, just really what's going on in the mining scene and what makes sense from a GPU standpoint if you wanted to get into a small rig to start off. So this may be no surprise to some of you out there that have been mining the 5700 XT and subsequent 5700 being the top of the stack right now on most mining in general. This is primarily due to the new high performance RDNA architecture within that 5700 XT that keeps up with most of the NVIDIA lines all the way up to the RTX 2070 and in some cases the RTX 2080 line. That much performance for a whopping $379. And when we're talking about mining, we'll still a term from science, the Goldilocks zone, where you have the best hash rate for the least amount of power with the least amount of cost. The output, the 5700 series, with even just a small few tweaks, such as copying the straps within the BIOS, updating that BIOS, and making a few tweaks to the power settings and memory, you're left with a nearly 60 mega hash consistent hash rate out of one of these cards. And this is for sometimes under 100 watts of power. And if we're talking an 8X mining rig of these cards, we're talking nearly 480 mega hash. And when you take the power of the motherboard, CPU, and RAM, along with the ancillary power that's required for the risers, along with 8X of these cards, you're right around 780 to 900 watts, depending on your configuration. And that breaks down to nearly 1.57 ETH a month at the current difficult rate. Now you can do the measurement at the time of viewing of this to figure out how much 1.57 ETH is currently worth at that point in time. But needless to say, you can see why folks are looking back into mining and why the 5700 right now is reigning supreme. Now, if AMD is not your bag and you like Nvidia, then never fear there's still a really good contender to that number one spot in the 1660 Ti and the 1660 Super variants of the GTX series. Again, in the Goldilocks zone of the power usage versus the hash that you get and the cost of the card. I keep mentioning this zone because it's ever so important as most people go straight for the maximum amount of hash rate, figuring that that's their best bet. However, the price on the ROI of your GPUs and of course the power usage are huge factors when deciding on what cards that you wanna use for mining. That's why a lot of these cards that are recommended and are reviewed have to do with the best performance for your hash rate versus your cost. The 1660 here averages around 30.5 mega hash per card at a very low 68 to 70 watts. And what that means at that hash rate is you're mining nearly a full ETH at 0.8 at the current difficulty levels in a month. Now comes the reality check. And before anybody goes smashing those links below in the description to go buy your new rig, I want you to hear and heed this reality check. And that is over the last month, Ethereum has just pulled really hard into this profitability zone. And that means given the state of the history since 2015 in Ethereum, there has been ups and downs. So when you mine, you understand that there are inherent risks that your profitability will change. It could go up and it very well could go back down. But as with all mining, it's all about the ability to participate. And for that participation, you will be rewarded in that native currency of that proof of work mining that you're doing. Now to help kickstart you, I have included links below that will walk you through a few great other channels that have already tackled the tuning and tweaking most recently on these 5700 XTs. This includes Red Panda Mining and Guntus, which has done both the 1660 Ti's and the 5700 in some of his reviews. Now coming up in the next live stream, we're going to do a live deep dive on these 5700 XTs. Now don't forget to click that subscribe, hit that bell icon so you do know when the latest video is up. Follow on Twitter and make sure that if you're into the live stream thing that you follow us. Thanks again and we'll catch you later.